Hey y'all. So I'm coming you to you late tonight, but um I said I was gonna do this today. So <laughs> even though it's the next day uh where I am, that's okay. But this is not gonna be very long. I just wanted to um the other day I saw on LinkedIn somebody shared the the fact that uh offensive security has a SOC certification. So I was like, awesome. Like, that's great. You know, it, they're, that's good <laughs> that they're doing both, you know, now. Because um, from what I knew of them, they only did, you know, pen testing and, and stuff like that. Not really anything related to blue team, directly related to blue team. So I was like, man, that's that's great. So uh, a couple of days after I saw that, I went ahead and went to the website to look at it. And I, I'm looking at the thing and I'm reading because they have the syllabus. They have all of that there. But I was like, OK, I had to control Z a couple times to go back to be sure I clicked the right link. Because what I was looking at, I'm like, this is the, the blue team certification. Because I've seen um, security a blue team i've seen there they they have three levels right and they're really good i mean they're really really good so i was really expecting to see an actual blue team course right so let me just tell you i went through it cuz i'm like i'm not just going to you know glance at this thing and and make assumptions so y'all know how we do over here so i went ahead and went through it both of them okay and i compared the two so the blue, the security blue team one is, um, it's called the blue team level two security operation certification. Now I compare the level two to the offensive security because that seemed to be the one. I don't think they have their level three out yet, and the level one is for junior, uh, junior people. But they say that anybody can take level two, so I just use level two to compare um, against offensive security. You know. So anyway, the blue team one is called uh, the security blue team is blue team level two security operation certification or the BT, BTL2. Now, the offensive security one is called the security operations and defensive analysis certification or the OSDA. OK, and the course is the SOC 200 which they describe as it reveals the consequences of common attacks from a defensive perspective. Uh, okay, let me just, before I give, give my commentary on that, let me just tell you the differences between the two. Now, for the security blue team, who the course is for mid-senior security analysts, mid-senior incident responders, mid-senior security consultants, um, digital forensics and incident response specialists, threat hunters, and malware analysis. That's who they say it's for. It, it says uh, the security blue team says their cert is aimed at security professionals with two to four years experience in a practical role, but can be suitable for individuals with less experience, provided they can commit, okay, to this because their their training is really intense, right? So offensive security, they said their course is for junior SOC analysts, junior threat analysts, uh, threat intelligence analysts junior analyst roles in uh, digital forensics and incident response, and anyone interested in detection and security operations and or committed to the defense or security of enterprise networks. Okay, that's who they say there is this targeted toward. Now, what will you learn for these two? And this is verbatim off of the website, okay? Now I'm going to compare one to one. So security blue team, they said you will perform threat hunts to detect adversaries that have already breached the perimeter. For offensive security, you're going to learn how attackers operate with the MITRE attack framework. For security blue team, you're going to identify, analyze, prioritize, and remediate vulnerabilities to effectively reduce risk. Offensive security says you're going to audit Windows and Linux endpoints. Um, security blue team says you're going to write SIM detection rules and tune them to ensure they're as efficient as possible 
by conducting adversary emulation activities. Okay, offensive security said you're going to review common attacks and uh, you're going to use a sim to track adversaries. Did I say that already? Offensive security already also said you're going to learn about attack surfaces and how they can be reduced and develop a working knowledge of security operations. All right. Now, the cost of these, they're, they're both subscriptions and they're both not cheap. Okay. Uh, offensive, now, offensive security, we know they're not cheap. Okay, you 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 coming out the pocket for that, but theirs is uh, I don't know. You got to do some kind of subscription, something or whatever. But it's two thousand dollars. Okay, now the subscription for Blue Team, how much is this one? Theirs is two thousand six hundred seventy-eight dollars. But when you look at what you get, theirs is absolutely worth it. Uh, so let me tell you real quick like some of the specific things you're going to be doing. And, and when you look at this, there's really no comparison. I mean, seriously, offensive security is already spanked, okay, when it comes to uh, blue team. Well, or I mean, you just, I mean, there's no way you can miss it, <laughs> okay? So let me tell you, like, for example, right? So security blue team, they have four domains for the CERT. Malware analysis, threat hunting, vulnerability management, an advanced SIM uh, architecture. Offensive security, they have attacker methodology introduction, Windows, Linux, and then they have things that are coming soon, all right? But when you compare, so let me just give you like a couple of them in each of the sections, okay? So in domain one for malware analysis, security blue team, you're gonna build your own analysis lab, you're gonna, uh, have malware analysis practice. And in your lab, you're going to do Yara and Yargin rules. You're going to monitor malicious processes. Over on offensive security side, you're going to do the attacker methodology. You're going to look at the Lockheed Martin cyber kill chain, the MITRE attack framework case studies. Okay, back at security blue team in threat hunting, you're going to build your own hunting lab. You're going to do endpoint threat hunting and network threat hunting. You're also going to do Linux system hunt and beacon detection with Rita and Wireshark. Over in offensive security, you're going to do Windows endpoint introduction, Windows client side attacks, Windows privilege escalation, and obfuscating and deobfuscating commands. Domain three. Security blue team, vulnerability management. You're going to do host discovery, reporting and remediation, vulnerability discovery, labs. You're going to do active discovery with NMAP, active scanning with OpenVAS, and NICTO scanning. And I'm not telling you all the stuff. I'm just hitting like points, okay? And then over in offensive security, you, you did Linux before. Now you're going to come to Linux. Uh, I'm sorry, you did Windows before. Now it's Linux. So it's Linux endpoint introduction automating the defensive analysis, and then you're going to uh, hit it on the head and do Linux server side attacks, credential abuse, password brute, brute forcing, Linux privilege escalation, attacking the users, abusing system programs, weak permissions. I'm like, who who is this for again? Like, who, like for real though, who is this course for? Okay, but before I get to it, one more domain, security blue team, domain four, advanced SIM. You're going to build your own SIM lab, proactive SIM hunting. You're going to do hands-on cloud labs with adversary emulation with Caldera. Now, I looked up Caldera. It, they, uh, it's from MITRE, and uh, it's a platform, you know, that um, it looks like a, that, that'll help emulate attacks. Creating rules and dashboards and command and control detection. Now, over here on the offensive side, Windows persistence, network detections, um, network evasion and tunneling, active directory enumeration, Windows lateral movement, active directory persistence. You know how they say, don't pee on my leg and tell me it's rain? I feel like offensive security is peeing on folks' legs around here, okay? How in the world are you going to call... A course that's 90% hacking. 
a blue team certification. I don't get that. I really don't. One of these things is not like the other. And y'all see my um my thumbnail is a bunch of stadium seats. I, I'm gonna need offensive security to take all them seats, okay? Because this is, I mean, it's 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 ridiculous. Like seriously, look, and I put the links so y'all can see for yourself. I put the links to both to both uh, in the description. Go look, okay. Look at the uh, security blue team, and then look at offensive security. I mean, if it, there's no comparison, there there really isn't. There really isn't. And the only reason I would see somebody taking an offensive security uh, sock certification is if they didn't know about blue teams. You, you know, you know what I mean. I mean, somebody who really, really wanted to be um, a sock analyst or or someone malware, you know, analysis and all that. It, it's uh, it's a no brainer, <laughs> for, at least for me. You know, and I'm looking at, at the text, black and white. I'm comparing both of them. And there's like, there's no comparison, really. There, there really isn't. So if you are a blue team and you really want to learn how to secure and defend, I 100% recommend you go to uh, Security Blue Team because they have in there, you're, you're learning security through attack in some of the things that they're doing but it's absolutely 100 percent not focused on abusing users and all this other stuff that that offensive uh security had on there child go anyway that's it that's, uh it's late so um y'all go check out those links and if you're interested in those certs i recommend security blue team all right y'all have a good night